Hi everyone, in this video we are going to be talking about visual hierarchy. Visual hierarchy is about how we look at designs. Does it sound weird? So let's put it in another way. We as designers should put ourselves in users' shoes in order to realize how they see our designs. Content in any digital page layout will pursue a particular hierarchy. For instance, Menus go to the top, bottom, left, or right of the screen, or a combination of these. Headers appear above body text. In other words, hierarchy is a simple way of staying organized from most to least important. Remember that users define the hierarchy of any app or website. The item that first grabs the user's attention is at the top of the hierarchy. The visual specifications that a designer can utilize to influence users' understanding of the information are Size The larger the element, the more attention it will attract. So if you are familiar with the HTML and web development process, you may know that we have six kinds of headers from H1 to H6. H1 is the largest header and H6 is the smallest one. So when we want to get so much attention, we will use H1. For instance, suppose that we want to get the user's attention to a specific section or a specific item. So in that case, we will use the larger header. Or on the other hand, sometimes we don't want to get so much attention to a specific section or content. In that case, we can use the smaller header. So size is so important. The next item is color. Bright colors are more noticeable than muted ones. If you do not have enough information about colors, you don't have to worry about it because in the next lessons, we will cover all the necessary information about choosing the right color in your design. The next item is alignment. An element with a different alignment of others will attract more attention. So what does that mean? Suppose that you have a layout of let's say four different videos or four different photos. If you align only one of those videos or those photos differently, it will draw more attention to it. As a matter of fact, in that case, the user can realize that something is different. The next item is contrast. Sharply contrasting colors will catch the eye easily. Contrast is a very, very important topic in UI design. And we will talk about contrast in next lessons deeply. The next item is proximity. Elements which are placed closely together appear more related. And that's true. If you look at the pictures on the right side, you can see we have two different screens. Let's focus on the left screen. As you can see, we have two different sections, new promotions and new stories. Can you realize that elements in both sections are placed closely together so that users can easily understand that they are related together? The next item is repetition. Repeating styles can indicate that content is related. So what does that mean? Let's look at the pictures on the right. Can you see that we have four squares and three circles? So the user can easily recognize the relationship between those elements. And the next item is white space, which is another important term in UI UX design. More space between elements will draw more attention to them. So let's look at the pictures on the right, but this time we need to distinguish between the left screen and the right screen. As you can see in the left screen, we have enough space or let's say enough white space between our elements and our sections. So the users can easily walk through the user interface. However, on the right screen, you can see that all elements are very, very close together and there is not enough white space between all elements in that kind of layout. Alright, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and I will see you in the next video.